Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're out in the pond. As you can see, it's a bit gloomy, dreech, horrible day. That's the reason we're out here. We're gonna get the goldfish out of the pond and get them into the fish room to put them in there over winter. There are two main reasons that I'm doing this. One being temperature. So although it has been unseasonably warm recently, the temperature has now dropped. So it's been Baltic the last couple of nights. It's time to get them out of here for that reason alone. But also the days are shorter and they're darker, they're gloomier like this. And this pond runs on solar power. We've got two filters in here, one which is run of a small pump which circulates through some filter media when it's sunny and the other one which runs off a power bank which charges up during the day when it's sunny so if it's not sunny enough or bright enough for long enough they just don't cope and we've now reached that point where they're stopped coping and um, so it's time to get them out so i'm going to drain the pond a little bit to make it easier for me to get the fish assuming they're still in there i think they are and um, fill up a bucket and get them into the fish room so this was one of the solutions for powering the filter. The filter is just, like I say, a little pump that draws water in through a cylinder and pushes it back out again. One that works during the night, one that works during the day. The during the night one, the solution is a solar panel. This connected to a power bank, and then the power bank has a USB outlet, which when the solar goes away, this kicks on and starts the pump. And even though it is really gloomy and dreech, it's still at 26%, so I think that's pretty good. I could probably have pushed it a little bit more if it wasn't for the fact that it's just so cold. So maybe something to consider. While we wait for this pond to drain down, that just gives me some time to tell you about this video's sponsor. Me! I'm sponsoring my own video. That's because I'm really trying to grow the channel at the moment, make it bigger and better. And I need your help because over half the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you could do me a favour and click that button, click the bell so you don't miss any new videos or live streams. Live streams we do every Friday, 9pm UK time. Come along, join us there. I've got quite the community built up. Speaking of which, we've got the Discord server. Come along, share your pictures, ask for advice. It's a really friendly, no drama place. You can hang out and talk all things fishy or otherwise. I've also got my shop, my online shop, aquarianadventures.co.uk if you want to buy some merch like these excellent hoodies or polos, t-shirts, hats, whatever it might be or fish food i've got a huge range of fish food there all stuff that i use myself that i can sell on and um, and if you join the channel uh, hero members actually get a discount code off anything that you buy on the website so that that's worth knowing if you do want to join the channel uh, let us know in discord that you're a hero member and we'll get you your discount code other than that thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye here you can see the filter, one of the filters. This is the daytime filter. It's basically a little tub filled with media. It draws water in through the top, down to the bottom of the pump, and comes back out through the sprinkler. The other one's over in this corner. This is the nighttime one. Similar sort of thing. It's just a piece of pipe with sponge at the ends, media in the middle, and a pump right in the middle. It draws water in through the sides and back out through the spout. It's very simple, but very effective. You might have noticed my microphone has died at this point, so I'm narrating here. My, my plan of attack was to come at them with two nets. I could use one to chase the fish around into the other net and catch them that way. The pond is a little bit murky. It's not quite as easy as it might be in a fish tank to catch them because it's spotting them. It's half the battle, but draining them did make a difference. Uh, and I managed to get five of the first six fish out fairly easily. Um, here's the first one coming out now. The thing that really surprised me, and I think I was saying this to the camera at the time, was how bright they were. They were so... I mean, I, I know they're just plain old goldfish, but they were really gold, really bright. Um, but it surprised me because I thought in the murkier waters they might not be quite as bright as they turned out to be. So I'll fast forward here a bit, but basically I spent a good half an hour chasing the last fish. But we got them all out in the end. Uh, not too much trouble and then get them into the bucket and down to the fish room. My plan is to put them in this tank here. So this was the tank the gold song was in, but I've put him in the other tank over there with the Oscar to see how they get on. Um, it is cold, but it's nowhere near as cold as the tank, the pond that they come from. So there's no heat in here, but the, the room is heated, so it's a little bit warmer. So I've left these in the bucket here for a couple of hours with the air on running and um, just to let it get a little bit warmer a little bit more steadily and um, so they should be ready to go in shortly i brought the plants from the pond as well because i don't think they'll survive the winter and um, but yeah got all six fish finally found the, the last one let's get them in 
and see how they look. So the blonde plants are water lettuce. They've done pretty well considering the weather recently, but I didn't think they'd make it through the winter, so I thought I'd get them in there too. Goldfish are looking great, so bright. Uh, I could of course just put a cover on the pond and left them out there, but I had the tanks. I just kind of wanted to see them for a while. Because <laughs> you don't you don't really get a chance to observe them. So get them in this winter, get them in here, I can look at them properly and give them good inspection. Um, obviously I could do that and just take them out for a few days and then put them back again. But you know, they're small enough that I can do this in this tank for the winter and then get them back out in the pond. In other news, as I said, I added the Oscar to this tank last week and um, I also added the Gold Somme. They didn't get on too well together, so I'll put this divider in to keep them apart and let them get used to each other to see if that makes it work. But they're both just currently sulking, one on that side, one on that side. The biggest sulks I've ever seen. Um, but the tank above, really happy how this is coming along. I've added in a load of extra um, floating plants, which kind of diffuses the light. Uh, I really like that look. Corridoras are doing great. Um, they're getting on famously with the angelfish. The angelfish? The rainbowfish. They're not bothering them at all. Uh, both out happily feeding together. I've got this curious foam that I've noticed has developed over the past day or two. I don't know what's going on there, so we'll do a big water change to see if that makes any difference, but if you have any ideas what that could be, let me know. Discus doing fine, ordered a new tank. So if you didn't know, a couple of videos back I did resealing or fixing my discus display tank, but it didn't work. Uh, and I've now tried too many times so we're giving up on that and I've just bought a brand new tank so that should be coming in the next few weeks and then we can get these guys back upstairs with all the plants Humphrey down here obviously doing well stay tuned for some mega tank news as well that should be back up and running soon but for now we'll leave it there one other thing I wanted to remind you about is if you join the discord server we have a channel called calendar picks I'm doing a calendar again this year we did one last year and gave the proceeds to charity it's same again this year but this time I want you to submit your pictures of your fish so go on to discord jump into the calendar picks channel submit your pictures and then in next Friday's live stream we will pick the best pictures from the calendar pick submissions and that'll go to a calendar how many times can i say calendar in one sentence let you guys buy the calendar and all the proceeds will be going to charity so thank you very much for watching as always click that subscribe button see if we can get to 15,000 subscribers this year and i'll see you in the next one thank you bye bye